So why do I use cornstarch in my cakes? Well, you'll be surprised to know that there is a very common baking ingredient that you're probably using that is actually banned here in New Zealand, which is why I have to use cornstarch as a substitute. There is a little controversy around this ingredient, but before I get into what exactly that ingredient is, I need to explain a few things first. Now, when I refer to cornstarch, I'm talking about the fine white powder like this that, you know, is often used to thicken soups and sauces. In some countries, it's also called corn flour, which is a little bit confusing because corn flour is also this yellow stuff in some countries. So just remember that I'm talking about the white stuff. Now, a key ingredient used in cakes is flour. Now, flour is used because it contains proteins. And when those proteins come into contact with liquid, it forms gluten, which helps to give structure to our cakes so that, you know, they don't fall apart. Now, that gluten formation is good. You know, we want some of that, but we don't want too much of it. Otherwise, you're going to end up with, you know, a very chewy and dense cake. And some ways that you can prevent too much gluten from forming is one, not over mixing your batter. So, you know, the more you agitate the flour when it comes into contact with the liquid, the more gluten is going to form. So, you know, just gently mix your batter and don't over mix it. Another way is adding acidic ingredients into your batter like buttermilk or vinegar. And the reason for that is because these acids kind of prevent the gluten strands from forming. Now, another very common way is using a low protein flour such as cake flour. Now the reason why cake flour has a lower protein content is because it is chlorinated which basically means that it kind of goes through this bleaching process which weakens the proteins in the flour and what this results in is a wonderful flour which you can make the softest and fluffiest cakes with. Now this is where things get a little bit interesting so you'll be surprised to know that cake flour is actually banned here in New Zealand and the reason why it's banned is because of the chemicals that are used during that bleaching process which are deemed harmful. Now just a little disclaimer here, don't take this as you know MK said not to use cake flour because honestly I haven't done enough research into it myself and you know if I went overseas it's not something that you know I would actively avoid so yeah that's up to you to decide. Now because I am absolutely determined to share the best possible cake recipes with you guys I instead use a cake flour substitute which is where our cornstarch comes in. So to make a cake flour substitute it is honestly so easy easy. So you just want to get a cup of regular all-purpose flour and what you want to do is you want to remove two tablespoons of it and set it aside and then replace those two tablespoons that you just took out with two tablespoons of cornstarch. And then you just want to give that a little mix and then what you end up with is a cup of a lower protein flour because cornstarch doesn't have any protein in it but it still absorbs liquid which is why it's still great for using in cakes. So that is it. I hope you guys learned a bit more about you know the science behind baking and why I use cornstarch in my recipes. I'll see you in the next video.